Hey boys and girls, so I ordered a few little more pieces to the car. Um, didn't really plan on buying this, but we did. <laughs> so these are not what I originally was going to get. I was looking more at a uh, Speed Hut Speedo, GPS Speedo with the tachometer built in it. And they look really cool. They're a really good price for what they are. They're made in America. The only thing is I've seen them in a car and the tachometer being built into the uh, Speedo is really small because they make 10,000 and 8,000 RPM tacks. I wish they would make one with 6,000. But um, I've came across this set of gauges and um, they're a little little cheaper, so I figured I'd give them a try, you know? Um, one thing I did like about these is I really like that the black has a black bezel, white face with a red pointer, kind of like the VDO cockpit white series. The reason I didn't go video cockpits is because the Speedo is much smaller. And, uh, you know, being a 120 mile an hour Speedo and they're like 3 and 1 eighth and 3 and 3 eighths, it just seemed a little smaller. This this is 3 and 3 quarters, so it's a little bigger. I will still have to make an adapter to put this into the um, stock Speedo hole. But um, also another thing was, this one's GPS. You buy the Speedo, it's the option to buy the Speedo the sensor kit for the GPS. I know that the video is also GPS and so is the Speed Hut, but um, this together was the price of almost a video, you know, um, Speedo. I also bought their boost gauge, um, 1 to 15 pounds, and uh, then I also bought their tachometer. This one's a pedestal mount, so uh, it goes to 10,000 RPM. I'll never go that high, but apparently all their tacks that they sell are 10,000 RPM tacks. As you can see, it has a shift light built in. Um, they're LED lit, so they go to multiple colors. Does this one show it? I know it shows it on the speed over here. So what I liked about this was white face during the day with a red needle, and it glows blue with the red needle. It actually does multiple colors. If you wanted, you can go yellow, white, blue, red, pink, purple, blue, green, or something, I guess that is. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, they were having a sale, so I uh, took them up on the sale. I was just scrolling through the internet, and they have free shipping, and uh, it was 10% off. So all this together was basically 300 bucks, which is uh, pretty good for gauges. Uh, video, speedo, depending on who you buy, can range from... 140 to 170 bucks and then you still got to buy the GPS thing and their GPS one is more than 70 bucks I think this was like 120 and, and that was 70 so that was 200 of it um, so we'll see how this all works it's made in Taiwan stuff it's not made in America it says it on the box right there and I just seen it on the tack and stuff it says it on the box somewhere there it go Mm. There it is. Made in Taiwan. So, anyway, that's that. We're going to put those in. I'll give you my thoughts of them. You know, so if you're looking at something like those, I'll tell you if I think they're crap or if they're good. Um, you know, it's always kind of a regret if you spend money and have to say, uh, oh, that was kind of crap. But I'd rather tell you guys and then you guys not make the same mistake. So, um, we'll see how that goes. I've always wanted the GPS Speedo in here as the cable one cables broke. And I just kind of want to get away from the stock VW Speedo. So, we'll be making videos of that soon. I have footage of taking the weight out of the car. Um, I'm going to keep the bumper and the deck lid on. As when I started doing it, I started realizing that um, the... Uh, bumper and deck lid would add more work to take off. I'd have to have a tag light and I just kind of don't want to mess with that. So I will get that video up soon hopefully for you guys. We're going to be going to the track on March 9th. So if any of you guys are kind of local, get out, you guys can come out. It's a Friday night test and tune night at Orlando Speed World. We uh, are hoping to have a few more cars than last time. There was about six or seven Volkswagens that came out and actually ran. I was really uh, impressed that, uh, that everybody that came out ran their bug. That was really cool. So we're uh, 
hoping to have a little bigger crowd this time. Like I say, everybody's invited. Um, I don't remember exactly what the entry fee is to get in. It's either 12 bucks to enter or it's $13 just to enter the gates. And to run your car, basically, admission and car price, it's 25 bucks. last time I looked. You can go to Orange County. It's Orlando Speed World. You can, I think their website is raceosw.com or something like that. Um, you can Google it. So we're going to race this in with the lighter, taking the weight out. Nothing really crazy, just getting the garbage out. Um, I'll obviously be probably adding a few pounds by putting that in. It's like three pounds they shipped it in, so that's really marginal weight. Um, I'm not going to do the disc brakes just yet um, because I don't want to add that much rotating mass to it. I kind of want to try and see if up in the boost to 10 pounds and fixing the hole in the exhaust will um, get me to the 13 second range. So I kind of don't want to add more weight and mess up the idea of, you know, did this work or not? Because then that stuff is heavy. That's 65 pounds is what it was shipped in. The box is probably two or three pounds. So 65 pounds of weight and I'd say definitely half of its rotating mass. So that's that's really bad for uh, for drivetrain and, and power loss. So anyways, we're still going to keep the SU. Like I said, we welded up the hole in the exhaust. We went to 10 pounds of boost. And it um, seems to be a lot more spunkier now. Um, I do have the manifold almost made for the four barrel. I got to make the flange. But I'm kind of holding off on that for right now until I get this ran down the drag strip and see what it will do with the inch and a half. Um, I'm hoping it will go in the 13s with the way it is. And then we can put this on maybe later if we get the itch to do that um, and just see. You know, eventual goal would be nice. Dream, of course, would be 12s out of it. But uh, 13s for right now will be plenty fine. I really like a 1350. But, um, if it just hits a 1399, that's cool enough, you know? So, um, especially with cast pistons still, until I change that. So anyways, guys, um, hopefully I'll see some of you guys out there. There's a gentleman on YouTube, just started up a few days ago. His name is VW Jawbreaker. You can uh, go check out his videos. He's kind of local in my area. He's in the next county over, and uh, he's going to some of the Volkswagen shows and stuff like that, so go check him out. You can... Uh, see some videos of shows around here that I can't go to sometimes so um, go check him out he's putting up pretty cool videos and uh, hopefully I'll meet him at the uh, drag strip I think he's trying hoping that he can go and uh, go give him a shout out and uh, give him a subscribe and a like you know if you like his stuff but uh, let's subscribe to the little guys you know he's just starting out I think he's got one or two subscribers so um, go check him out and, um, you know, watch some of his videos. He just went to a Volkswagen show, and it was pretty cool. I didn't get to go. Um, had other things planned, and there's going to be a couple other shows that he's probably going to be able to go to that I can't go to. So, um, you know, like I say, just go check him out and see what it, see if you like his videos. Um, it's VW Jawbreaker. And um, I'll think, of, I'll see if I can put a link in the description of this video. But uh, that's about all we're doing, guys. We're going to try and put some speedo tack and boost gauge in eventually here and uh see uh if that stuff really works if it's worth buying if it's not worth buying i'll probably do another video and telling you why you know um i hope it will look good in the car <laughs> it is a little ricer looking but apparently that's where these people had their start is selling to the uh hot import night type car people so um we'll see you know it's got to be better than the harbor freight gauge that i got or same Anyways, guys, get out there, work on your cars. Um, give a, another little shout-out to um, Old BSI. I seen he had a little video a little while back. I want to say congratulations, man, on your new job. Um, I know sometimes that does take a, away some of your free time, but um, I think you'll like the... Uh, I don't know what you were doing before, but you did kind of say what you're doing now, and I think uh, it sounds like it's a good step up in pay, and uh, it's a step in the direction of a career, so oh. that's awesome. And... Um, you know, so I know it takes a little time away and it sucks that your uh, car and parts and stuff are a little separated from each other, but you'll get there, man. You know, it'll just take a little time. You'll be 
back out there uh, swinging on the bug every weekend. <laughs> so anyways, go check him out. He has a new video out. Um, VW Darren had a new video out a little while back. Um, hopefully I can get over there sometime and see how he's doing. Um, just time's been really low lately. But uh, I'd like to say, hey, Darren, put another video out, man. We're kind of waiting. And uh, see how that convertible's coming out. Looks like you're doing really good, especially if the Wolfsburg West pans. Those are definitely the way to go. They just save a lot of time, and they're definitely thicker. So uh, cool to see you're doing it that way. You know, I like to see I like that's going to be a solid car. And uh, if you're going to sell it, somebody's going to be really happy with that thing. So anyways, guys, that's about it. This video is running long. I'll see you guys later. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, we're going to have a couple other videos of putting other things on. Hopefully uh, when we get our taxes done, maybe I'll have a dollar or two to spend on the car a little more. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Get out there and work on your cars.